let's test out this new yard light I just bought. That's the diffuser. Oh yeah, it's like tin foil. <laughs> Instructions telling you how to put it all together. It's pretty self-explanatory if you ask me. Got our bulb and our eye and the main attraction. All wide open. Oh, there's probably a cover. Yeah. Right there. Well, that's like a normal light bulb socket, isn't it? I guess it uses the little baby bulbs. There she be. What a cool bulb. Yeah, that's just a regular socket. All right, got our temporary cord wired in here. I even put the ground on. Changing my ways, boy. Go ahead and get this eye now. And there it is. Wow, these things are actually a lot larger than they look when they're way up on a pole. I'm gonna go install it and I'll update you when I get her done. I got her up on this pole here. It's kind of right in the center of the yard. Most notably, not right in front of the shop door anymore for millions of bugs to cake on. It's only really a few months of the year that the bugs are really bad. So for the most part, we can still use the original light. But when the bugs are extra bad, we can use this little guy. Although I don't know how bright it's going to brighten up the yard yet. I mean, nothing can compete with this old whatever wattage it is. I'm thinking 300. Just a little 70 watt here. We'll see what she does. I just got it temporarily on a plug. It's running all the way to my house plug over there. We need to move the power line from that pole over to this new pole one of these days. So when we do that, then I'll wire it in right. Actually, the bugs aren't terrible tonight. Shut down. Don't mind the old bug light zapping in the background. Well, we'll watch her first start up. I'll run to the house and plug her in. How much you want to bet this camera is going to be completely out of focus when I plug it in and it's just going to absolutely fight it all the way until it's at like full bright. <laughs> just watch. I can't tell if that's my lens dirty or is it just that smoky. When I look up at the light, there's lots of smoke around it, but I don't think that much, man. My camera must be all fogged up inside or something. Man, I am genuinely impressed with this little light. <laughs> like, it's actually lighting up the yard pretty decent. Especially right here, this radius. I'm sure if I had the light up higher, like at the top of that pole, this intense circle of light right around here would stretch out further. Well, it's a few nights later, and I've raised the light up about four feet, and it's uh, definitely made a difference. Now this little light's really putting out. It's shining all the way up to my cars now although not super bright but enough to see where you're walking especially around the shop door here now it's it's just perfect see where i'm going and avoid the obstacles that i always seem to leave everywhere in front of the shack here is lit up just enough to see although it's looking like it's nothing on the camera here but it's a lot more than i thought this little 70 watt yard light would do lit up nicely up in front of the house here you can see where the light from that yard light cuts off here yeah since raising it up I can actually see over here on the other side of the house in front of the sheds now and there's actually a very faint orange glow even on the side of mom and dad's house here
And what the heck, since we're on the subject of light, this is the little, I don't know, <laughs> the spot. That's, that's just what we know it as, but I got the fire pit back here. Just hung a few different string lights up here. Oh, it looks like those ones already went dead. Yeah, even with only two of the sets going, it's actually fairly bright in here. I should actually have some footage from the first night I was making a video of that yard light when this string was actually working. And there's that sick, deadly, high-pressure sodium over out yonder. Boy, listen to me just nerding out on lights here. And that beautiful moon peeking through the trees there. What a beautiful night. Anything else? Oh, there goes a mouse. Little bastard. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Got one too. Look at that. I didn't even notice that. Well, I better get that out of here before I forget and it rots. Well, I'll go plug her in at the house and we'll watch her first start up. I bumped the camera. Man, come on. Well, I'll go ahead and run to the house, plug her in, and. Nope, we're going to be here all night. Oh, there's a beaver.